This is problem 30, 35. Two long parallel wires are separate, separated by two centimeters. The current in one of the wires is three times the other current. If the magnitude of the force on the two meter length of one of the wires is equal to 60 micronewtons, what is the greater of the two currents? So we have two wires, and it doesn't really say whether they're carrying currents in equal directions, same direction, or opposite directions. It's not going to really matter because we're going to get the same magnitude regardless. So let's just have one current go in this direction and the other current let's call this I1 equal to I and the other current is I2 equal to 3I and they're going to be equal and opposite forces on them and in this particular case the way I've drawn it those forces will be attractive. So we'll have the same magnitude force equal and opposite between these two wires. And the value of that force is going to be equal to mu naught I1 I2 times the length of the wire in question over 2 pi d, where d is the distance between the wires. So in this case, this is going to be mu naught 4 pi times 10 to the minus 7 times current 1 which is I and current 2 which is 3I times the length which is 2 meters over 2 pi and we're separated by 2 centimeters so that's 2 times 10 to the minus 2 meters well, if we take uh, 4 pi divided by 2 pi, we end up with a 2 left over. And a 2 divided by 2 here. And so we are going to end up with 2 times 3, which would be uh, 6i squared times 10 to the minus 7 over um, 10 to the minus 2. So this is going to be i squared times 6 times 10 to the minus 5 for this force. Well, we're told this force should be 60 micronewtons. So this force, which is I squared, 6 times 10 to the minus 5, should be equal to 60 times 10 to the minus 6 newtons. And so if we divide both sides, we've got I squared is equal to 6 times 10 to the minus 5 over 6 times 10 to the minus 5. 60 times 10 to the minus 6 is 6 times 10 to the minus 5, so that's equal to 1. Or I is equal to the square root of 1, which is 1. So our current I is 1 amp. We want to find the greater of the two currents, so I2 is the greater of the two currents, which is equal to 3I, that's equal to 3 times 1, or 3 amps. So the greater of the two currents is indeed 3 amps.